in this video i will show you another example of a diode load line this will be the second example draw the diode load line and determine the operating point and the current through the diode for the following circuit use the provided iv characteristics graph see i have to draw the diode load line for this given circuit and determine the operating point and the current that is flowing through this diode and i have to use this iv characteristics graph now when we are to draw diode load line the load line is defined as the graphical representation of kashyap's voltage law or kvl in a loop containing a single voltage source a resistor and a diode that means whatever the circuit configuration i have to reduce the entire circuit to a circuit like this that means i will keep this diode with respect to this terminal and this terminal intact and i will reduce this entire circuit to a thevenin equivalent circuit thevenin equivalent circuit states that whatever the circuit configuration we can reduce them to a single voltage source in series with a resistor so i will denote this voltage source or dc voltage source with vth and this resistance rth after reducing the value of rth and vth i will apply kvl in this loop after that i will draw the diode load line and find out the coordinate of operating point and calculate the current that is flowing through this diode now let's say the diode is connected at this point so it is point a and this point i denote that with b now i have to reduce this entire network across this a and b terminal to a thevenin equivalent circuit so to do that at first i have to remove this diode from the circuit after removing the diode from the circuit i will calculate the thevenin resistance rth with respect to this a and b terminal while calculating rth i will replace this voltage source with a short circuit so here you will see with respect to this terminal and this terminal i will calculate the equivalent resistance of this circuit here you will see at this terminal and this terminal this 200 ohm and this 200 ohm resistances are connected in parallel therefore i can write 200 ohm will be in parallel with another 200 ohm and their equivalent parallel resistance will be in series with this 25 ohm so i can write it like this 25 plus 200 parallel 200 when two resistances of equal value are in parallel their equivalent resistance will be the half of that value so i can write 25 plus 100 so i will get 100 25 ohm so in this circuit the thevenin resistance will be 125 ohm after calculating rth i have to calculate the vth with respect to this terminal and this terminal by considering this terminal as positive and this terminal as negative v t h now see this 10 volt source will supply a current and the current will flow in this direction and here you will see due to the open circuit between this a and b terminals the current through this path i will be equal to 0 therefore i into 25 that means i are drop across this 25 ohm resistor will be equal to 0 that means this 25 ohm resistor will act like a short circuit when i will be calculating vth now let me replace this 25 ohm resistor with a short circuit for avoiding any kind of complicacy in the calculation so i have replaced the resistor with a short circuit now what will be the value of this vth here you will see this supply voltage will supply this 10 volt in this 200 ohm resistor and this 200 ohm resistor and they are connected in series within this loop so i can use simple voltage divider rule to calculate the voltage drop across this terminal to this terminal and that voltage will be our thevenin voltage so i will calculate thevenin voltage by applying voltage divider rule i am calculating voltage across this resistor so i will take the value of this resistor divided by the value of total resistance 200 plus 200 
into 10 so I will get VTH equal to 5 volt here now let me talk about the polarity of this 200 ohm resistor see this 10 volt supply will supply the current in this direction or in clockwise direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be as VTH and the resistor both have the same polarities therefore VTH will be positive so I can write VTH equal to 5 volt now see I have reduced the entire network into a single voltage source single resistance and a nonlinear element now I can draw the diode load line of this circuit as I have replaced the circuit with a Thevenin equivalent circuit the replacement of the circuit with a Thevenin equivalent circuit will not alter the property of the circuit now I will apply KVL in this loop in clockwise direction before applying KVL let me talk about the polarities of the elements see current will be entering from this direction so this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source is connected with the P side of the diode and the negative terminal is connected with the N side of the diode let's say the voltage drop across the diode is VD now if I apply KVL in this loop I will get plus 5 minus ID let's say the current that is flowing in the circuit is ID as this is a total series circuit so ID will be same all, all over the circuit ID into 125 minus VD equal to 0 from which I can write ID into 125 equal to minus VD plus 5 I will further simplify it ID equal to minus VD divided by 125 plus 5 divided by 125 will be equal to 1 by 25 let's say this is our equation number 1 and this will represent the equation of a straight line like this y equal to mx plus c so from this equation I can draw the diode load line so at first let's say when VD equal to 0 our ID will be equal to 1 by 25 which will be equal to 40 milli ampere so 0 40 milli ampere coordinate will give us y intersect now set id equal to 0 i will get vd equal to 5 volt therefore 5 volt 0 will give us x intersect of the equation number 1 see to draw a straight line we need at least two points here I have this y intersect and this x intersect so I can easily draw the diode load line by using this equation number 1 our x intersect is 5 0 so this will be our x intersect it will have a coordinate of 5 0 and our y intersect will be 0 40 milli ampere along this axis this VD will be equal to 0 our current will be here 40 milli ampere now if I connect this point and this point that means if I connect y and x intersects I will get a straight line see I have joined this point and this point so this will be our DC load line and here you will see this DC load line and this IV curve will intersect at this point so this will be our operating point or Q point and here you will see this Q point will have a coordinate of around 2.5 volt see this is our 2 this is our 3 as they have intersect here it will be around 2.5 volt and here you will see we will have a current around this is 18 this is 19.5 
this is 21 so it will intersect a region like this so let's say that is our 20 milli ampere so this is our vdq and this is our i d q see here i have drawn the diode load line and determine the operating point now i have to calculate the current through the diode see now look at the iv curve here you will see the built-in potential will be around 0 0.75 volt so the built-in potential of the diode is equal to 0 0.75 volt let's say i will replace this diode with its simplified equivalent circuit see the positive terminal of this 5 volt will be connected with the p side and the negative terminal will be connected with the n side of the diode therefore this diode will be in forward bias as this diode will be in forward bias it will maintain a voltage difference of 0.75 volt between this terminal and this terminal so i can replace this diode with its simplified equivalent circuit see i have replaced the diode with a voltage source of 0.75 volt let's say the current in the circuit will be id and it will flow in this direction the current is id see current will be entering from this direction and leaving this 125 ohm resistor in this direction so this terminal should be negative and this terminal should be positive so here i will apply kvl to calculate id plus 5 minus id into 125 minus 0 0.75 equal to 0 from which i can write id equal to 4.25 divided by 125 which will be equal to 0 0.034 ampere which will be equal to 34 milli ampere okay that's it thank you